Hey guys, Carter. I am going to demo today the Avalanche Mountain source code. Um, this is the first of, you know, hopefully many that's going to uh, be source codes that you guys can use to reskin games a lot easier. I know a lot of people have been contacting me, asking me, um, where do you find source codes? You know, what do you look for? And I thought I would just kind of bypass the whole process and start doing it for you. Uh, and walking you, walking you through what I look for and, um, you know, hopefully giving you guys the ability to to, to pick up a, a code that you can then go and reskin. Um, and I want to start with this one. I talked to Brian a little bit and um, I really want to start with this one and, and put it on my own site because I actually reskinned this one and I, and I did really well. And I know some other people who did extremely well. Um, and I just want to walk through it a little bit. So right now I've just got the uh, iPhone simulator here for it at Xcode. And I just want to just kind of pop it open and show you guys what we got. Um, and so right off the bat, what's cool is that there's this, um, this is a review SDK. And what this does is you literally just put your Apple ID in here. Um, and this was going to take them to the review page on, on the app store. And so um, I'm just going to put never for now just because I've already left the review or whatever, but um, that's cool to know. So that's a plug and play thing. And that's super sweet for rankings and uh, you know, app store search and all that sort of stuff. So that's, that's really helpful. So yeah, you get in here and you get this cool little home screen where it's, you know, there's a there's a place where you got your sound and your effects. I turned the sound off just because it's a little bit of a rock and roll type sound and it's hard to hear. Um, but that's that's all there. And then over here you got Game Center, you've got Facebook. And what's cool about Facebook is that the Facebook is a uh, is it, it's integrated. It's not like old school where you uh, pushes you over to um, like a website URL. It actually uh, does it's all within the app, which is really cool. Um, and you can just, you can change that ID really easily. I've been in the code. And then there's a credits page and this is kind of, you know, you can do whatever you want here. Maybe throw like another free games button or, or whatever you want. Um, and you know, you can get, you can get creative here. Uh, I think in mine, I have like a, a free, a free games, more games button uh, for chart boost and chart boost the SDK and the RevMob SDK. That's all, that's all in here. So um, I think it's just turned off right now, but I'll show you my other app. So it's cool. So you know, there's there's a little bit there, all kind of basic stuff that you want. Um, you click over to the store. The store is really cool, and this is where it, this is why it's such a great source code. Um, so right here, off the bat, you got AdMob, and AdMob um, just a banner service from Google. You can just pop your own ID in there, and then those ads will be serving to your account, um, which is which is super nice. So what's cool about this is that there's a combination of what's called consumables and non-consumables. And if you if you don't know what the difference is, a non-consumable is something you buy once. And so like, if I wanted to buy this super hot Swedish racer chick, I would I could only buy it once, right? So I would I could unlock it, and it would be you want to buy a female skier for five bucks. Uh, I'm not going to right now, but. You can only buy that once, and once you unlock it, it's unlocked. Like you can't, you can't buy it ten times, and so that means it's non-consumable. And what's cool about that is that this game has got a lot of different non-consumable options. You can do, you can do lots of different styles, and like you know, oh wow, the pan is cool. Uh, and I'll show you this in the other game that I designed. But it's really good to have this many options because you can tier this. So the the first one, like this guy, is you know obviously the free option. This one might be two bucks. This one might be five bucks. This one, you know, and you can get all the way up so this one's like like 25 bucks or whatever you want it to be and so you can you can really graduate your users in that sense which is which is really really cool and really helpful uh, and it's really good for monetization it can it can make a lot of money for you um, as some of some of my peeps definitely know um, the second thing that's cool is that there's a, there's consumables and so that's like you know coins in a game or in this case it's called power boosters and what this is, is uh, it allows, it's like a currency. So it allows you to do, you know, you can use like, if you buy 15, you can get a power boost 15 times and you buy more and you can you can buy as many as you want or you can just buy the unlimited. And what's cool about the unlimited is you can really get creative. I mean, that's 20 bucks, that's that's sweet. You know, like people are gonna buy that. And uh, you can you can mess with the pricing uh, in iTunes Connect once it's already in the store. Um, but it's nice to have that because it gives people something that they can keep buying. So if you have a, a user who, Let's say they buy all the characters. They want to keep spending money in the game. Like the power boost is going to give them the ability to do that. It's the same with the level skips, um, you know, consumable, and then unlock all, which is really cool because that's like the you know the power, the power button. And someone's just like, I'm going to save, you know, get a big discount if I buy a lot. I'm just going to buy this. So the whole point of this entire thing is that it's there's a lot of stuff 
that you can sell in here. And it's gonna give people a lot of things to buy. And that's really, really important when you're um, deciding what sort of, of code you wanna buy um, in terms of monetization. So that's great. And so then you get into the actual game um, and it gives you you know tons of stages. So you can see the banner comes back up here and that's great because it gives you a second impression. Um, so it's gonna boost your impression rate. And so you get all these stages and I, I, I've, I mean, you can see how many stages there are down here, but um, I'll show you just what it is. And this is kind of like a um, tiny wings type of source. And so what I'm doing is with my mouse or what would be your finger, um, when you click, you know, the guy goes down and then you see this little finger come up and you click again. And you know, that's this is really all it is. And you gather speed. And when you get like uh, some air time, you can do like, you know, some tricks or whatever. Um, and the whole point is just like, how fast can you get, you know, can you get to the end? Um, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty straightforward. There's, uh, you know, a little bit of everything. Just kind of cruising, cruising through here. You're picking up snowflakes, having a great time. I'm just trying to get to the end of the level here. Oh, it's freestyle, sweet, killing it. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's get going. I just want to show you what the game over screen looks like so you guys can, can see what the full kind of um, level looks like when it's happening. And there's, you know, there's definitely some some cool music that you gotta, you'll, you know, you'll put your own music on the background here. Um, there's some sound effects of the guy screaming and being like a total ski bro. Um, so yeah, you get to the stage one complete and, um, you know, everything's good. Often you'll serve up like a chart boost ad right here, maybe a rev mob if you want to get really aggressive. Um, but it can give you a way to, um, you know, it's a transition. So you can serve a new ad here or whatever you want to do. And you can get creative. And then you get these sharing capabilities with, you know, Game Center is going to log your, Game Center is going to log your um, score and Facebook's going to, you know, you can share your, your score on Facebook or you can email it to someone or, or whatever you want to do. Um, so it's all there. It's pretty cool. And, you know, you go to the next level and it's the same thing. Um, so that's that. I mean, that's pretty much the whole game, and that's really all you want for a reskin, um, because it's um, you know more complicated than that. It's going to add up with a designer. It's going to take a long time to do, and you know, it just works out well to you know have it not necessarily simple, but have it close enough that you can you can easily reskin this. So I'm going to show you now. As I did one, it's called Extreme Police Chase. Um, you know, sick, like graphics, cars going super fast, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but you can see that I have all the same stuff, right? Like I have the, I have the whatever, got all this. Uh, I guess I didn't put a more games button here, but you know, you could put like a more games for, for Charpus, which I think would be pretty sweet. Uh, and then you do, I have the store too, right? Like, so I've got the cars and I've got everything else and you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, same sort of deal and, and I messed with the pricing. So what I did, which was kind of cool, and this this was a someone told me about this, and I thought this made a lot of sense, is I have my developers switch a few lines of code, and so when I press play, I got to go through the store first, and then I can go play. And the, I learned that from um, when I did Jolly Journey, that that Christmas game, and that was like a huge game changer in terms of how much money I was making. So that was. I, I would recommend doing something like that. Um, really easy to do. You don't have to do it at all. I'm not like, you know, no worries if you don't do it, but uh, something to think about. And yeah, there's, you can obviously hear the, uh, hear the noise there. And it's the same sort of thing. So you know, you got, my, got the car and so, uh, it's all good. I mean, it's it, that's pretty much what it comes down to. So this is an example of, of what I did. So yeah, the bottom line is that, you know, this code is, is, is great because it's not, that complex, but it has a lot of options to be able to monetize users. Uh, and, and I didn't, you know, there's no ads up right now because I turned them all off because it would just get annoying <laughs> um, for, for these purposes. But you know, you can get RevMob and Sharpboost and just pop your IDs right in there um, as a way to, you know, double your, your impact with the money. So hope that painted a good picture. And then, you know, I laid out some other stuff on the actual blog post and check it out. All right, cool.